new web browser emulator and uh, of NES stuff. And now these have existed before. There's you can play the entire NES library for the most part in your browser, which I think is insane to think that that like 20 years ago that that could be a possibility, or even 15 years ago. I like the Apple IIe emulator that you can play in your browser. Is there? Is, the, there yeah. game, is there games already in there? You have to find the games. There, well, I don't know if there is now. There used to be. Wow. I know they had that for like Commodore 64 and stuff. Yeah. You can go online and play uh, Zork, text-based, you know, Lemonade game. I love Lemonade game. Hopefully I can play that. Lemonade Stand is a, is a great buy low, sell high type of game. <laughs> um, so this is interesting. This one came out. It's called 3D NES Emulator. And it looks fucking stunning. It simulates... I don't know how they did it. But NES games in 3D. I'm talking uh, shadow effects, depth effects... Um, skewing when you walk past something you can see it like the angles change you can change uh in the video someone's changing the angle as they play with their mouse perspective tilting it up like castlevania like looking down on it and it's not perfect it's not perfect you can judge for yourself but this looks this is for a beta release this is pretty damn freaking cool yeah who the fuck cares if it's not perfect the basic yeah. concept alone if it never went any further than this is pretty awesome uh, I mean, they showed about, what, nine different games during this? 30-minute uh, video. Mega Man, Castlevania, Dr. Dr. Mario, Mario looked amazing. Looks really good. Like, the depth of the bottle. Yeah. And they, and they, while they're playing it, like, they went to the side, they showed depth of the, of the viruses on the side. Yep. And then depth of the, of the bottle. And that's the where pills. things. That's where it does start to fall apart a little bit. Is when you start tilting it and you get um, larger sprites. They don't look as, as nice, but... Um, I don't know. Uh, overall, it's a very impressive effect. Contra was okay, not great. Um, it, was, it was interesting because they actually showed like the 3D part, like like the the first part or third oh, person God. parts, and it, it didn't know what to do. I was gonna say it didn't that, know what to do because it's yeah, not it's, it's not on a 2D plane, <laughs> right? So, but like, but even on the intro screen of Contra, showing like the sea, you can see behind the sea and the side of it. It's just really sweet. But Mega Man was was all right. It looked pretty good. I think Mega Man was one of the better looking games. Zelda 2, meh. Uh, Super Mario 3, not bad for a start. I mean, when you think about it, they basically just wrote something in their engine to take the objects and throw some depth on them and to draw them a certain way. I'm obviously simplifying, but that's what they did. And to skew them. So it's, for right now, it's a one size fit all, fits all. And I'm sure eventually they'll have different modes they can do for different types of games that don't make more sense. Right. But this is probably just, all right, we figured out how to just do it yeah. to start. Like like you said, I'm this sure, is proof of concept. I'm sure they will find something, some way to do games that are like forward facing, like a, like a flight sim, like a. What's that fucking acclaim one? Uh, but like Contra, To the Earth, Star Voyager, that sort of stuff. They'll probably find a way to do that. Legend, too. Legend of Cage, eh. It seems like they can't figure out the foreground versus background stuff that much yet. It depends on, I think, probably how the game is is developed. But yeah, when, with something like a black background, like Mario, um, Dr. Mario, like the bottle, that's where it seems to excel. Castlevania looked pretty good once they tilted it looked down. It looked pretty freaking good. Again, this isn't perfect, but the fact that it's there, can you imagine Danny Sullivan in 3D? Oh, it'd be, it'd be majestic. Him smiling at you in 3D. It would look like we were racing uh, Matchbox cars. Oh, it's fantastic. I want that. 